The Iranian Revolution, of course, in 1979, stunned and surprised everybody. I think to a large degree the Iranians themselves. And in terms of revolutions, it was a very innovative one, in the sense that here was a new revolution, a revolution that introduced a hybrid government, a republic and an Islamic government, that is, a republic Islam government, which was quite distinct, because if you look back at the French Revolution, it was really one of seeking personal liberty. The Romanov, the Russian Revolution, was one of classless egalitarianism, whereas the Iranian Revolution was unique in what it introduced. And then to look at it in another dimension, in terms of the Middle East, it was one of the three major events of the 20th century with respect to that region. The first one being, of course, the fall of the Ottoman Empire, five centuries, the creation of Israel in 1948, and then the Iranian Revolution. And as I witnessed in Tehran, first is the exuberance, the celebration, the sense of freedom, and then comes the terror. In Tehran, it, it took a matter of the ancien regime, was essentially put in jail, and every night, roughly 10, 11, 15 of them, executed on the charge corrupt against God. You waited till the morning newspaper, where from the chest up, there was a photograph of them on a cement slab. But again, Lenin maybe put it in proportion. He seems to be the most popular commentary on revolutions. He said, a revolution is never ended until the firing squad enters. In response to your question, there was not one single Canadian officer or um, staff in the embassy during, say, the roughly the three years that I was there, during a, a rather eventful unorthodox time, who said that they wanted to go back to Canada. Every one of them were committed despite the, the dangers. The other was the resourcefulness, and the other that the, the sense of being prepared to be away from their their family during that time. Now certainly the military is faced with that as a, as a common part of their, their duty. But in, in, the, in the embassy in Tehran, um, the situation was there was always a certain amount of tension. And, um, but everyone came to terms with living in very unusual situations. And, um, um, also, I think that when you're in a situation like that, there's a lot of luck. Timing's good. Something could have gone the other way. But um, generally speaking, um, I think we could have remained open if we, um, for longer than three months with the, with the six diplomats. But it was becoming a particular strain, probably greater on the six than when the rest of us.